Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises to Yahuwah, our Heavenly Father. And my name is Brother Kuya. And I'm here to present to you today the calendar for the 10th month. Now, the, it's been confirmed that the moon has been spotted um, on the evening of Friday, November the 5th. So that will make all of our Shabbats on Saturday for the 10th month. All right. So I want to thank everybody for coming in. If it's your first time coming here, congratulations. I'm glad to see you. And I pray that you learn something, get some out of this lesson. If you have been here before, thank you for coming back. And you know what we do if we've been here before and we got a, a calendar from the ninth month. Get that pen and paper to take something you can take notes with if necessary and have the scripture standing by just in case I need to uh I need to quote some scriptures some scriptures I'm sorry <laughs> some scriptures okay now a lot of people see having a hard time understand how the moon days run it's from even to even and I'm gonna try to explain it to you the best way I can but once I say it, thank you for coming in and we're going to get started right now. If you have a calendar from the previous month, which is the ninth month, uh, you know what we do here. We take that and we use that to start off, give us a head start. All right. OK, so you go to the bottom where you have your new moon at the week that the new moon is on the same week. We bring that here to the top of the blank calendar. Same thing with the week after that. We bring this week here. We bring this to the week up under that. So what you're doing, you're just taking one, taking the bottom two, and lifting it and setting on the top two. All right. So it's very simple. Very simple. Now here you have your new moon sighting on this day on um, November the 5th, the new moon sighting. This is at even at sundown. All right? It was on Friday evening at sundown. Okay. Now you're trying to see how, how, how can this day right here be on Saturday? All right. I'm on, I'm, how can new moon be on Saturday? I'm going to show you in a second. All right. Let me get my pointer going here. Okay. You see all of this here. On November the 5th, that should be on a Friday, right? So all of this right here, this part here is a is a Friday. This little small piece of light right here, you see that? That starts your new day. That's Friday evening at sunset. Therefore, everything here and everything here that is dark. It's Saturday. All right. Here, this is Friday. Everything dark is Friday. This part here starts Saturday. Everything right here, the next day, the 6th, is Saturday. So once you get here on this side, see this small piece of light right there? This, right, this is starts a new day. So it's from evening. This right here is evening to evening. It's Saturday. This right here is Sunday evening from Sunday evening right here. All of this is Sunday here, Sunday evening. You see what I'm saying? So this is Friday, Saturday, all right? And then Saturday evening, and then this is Sunday. Very simple. Just like uh, this is you know, New Year's Day. You know when you have, you're waiting, um, you're standing out there. On New Year's, you wait for the ball to drop. Well, we go out there at sunset on our new moon days at sunset. And this is our ball right here. This is the dropping of our ball. This is where we celebrate the new moon right here at this point. Once we spot it, it's a new moon. This, this is our ball dropping right here. Okay. So that is the best way I can explain it to you when you understand. All right. Like sitting for. We always take our line that we have the new moon spotted on, 
on the previous calendar and bring it up to the top line. All right. Because that way you want to be able to get all of your Sabbaths in. All right. Since the moon has been spotted and confirmed, you see what this little slither is right here. So everything on this, on your left, on the right side of it is Saturday. It's new moon day. Our new moon started in the evening of Friday, November 5th, which is the 29th day on Yahoo's calendar. Okay. So this is our, this is celebrated as new moon day. It's not a work day. Uh, we have had out, this is the fourth Sabbath for the ninth month. It goes right into the 10th month, and even when you spot that new moon. Okay? So, this, that line, this, that line, the top line was right here on the previous calendar. And you see on our next line that our days of the week is changed. Um, from having a rest day on Friday to having a rest day on Saturday, you see, because we had that new moon day, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six working days, and the seventh day is the seventh, the day of rest, Shabbat. I try not to say Sabbath anymore, but it's Shabbat. All right. Now, I, me and my wife both work, and a lot of times here lately, what I've been starting to do is start two days ahead of time preparing for the Sabbath because um, you don't want to, we, I've drive a dump truck and sometimes I don't get in until late and I don't want to be pushed up to the last minute to uh, trying to prepare and get everything laid out. So a lot of, lot of weeks I start two days ahead, depending on what I'm going to do, if I'm going to cook some fish or whatever, have stuff, have all this stuff laid out, and, you know, prepare. So this is your preparation day. So you don't want to be pushed up to the last minute and flow into that night and cooking or whatever chores you have to do to prepare uh, this is any day not just not just now but this is any day so um i just that's that works for me that i just what i try to do so your work days one two three four five six and the seventh day is at the day of rest so they're going to change. It changes every month. It's not going to be on every Saturday. It's not going to be on every Sunday. And so it goes by the moon. So we know that by now. We didn't seen enough videos and we didn't went over enough to know. Okay. If we check the calendar. All right. You see right here. This is, this is November 19th. This should be the 14th day right here. All right. But you see. The 14th day and it's illuminated is illuminated if i can say it right at 100 percent all right at this day right here in the evening the moon will be at its brightest point all right this is 14th day at even is the 15th day so your new so your shabbat and your full moon day will be on saturday november 20th right so in the evening of the Saturday, you see, you got 99% there. It's going to start decreasing. And each day is going to start decreasing. So this moon right here had to grow from a small slither of light on this side. And once it got to this point here in 14 days, it at its brightest point. Therefore, once you get to 100%, just like you plug something up and then you... Uh, once you plug it up, get to 100%, then you unplug it, then it's going to start decreasing. Okay. So this is your full moon. The 14th day at even is the 15th day. All right. So this is your uh, full moon day. Now I did that to show you this. So I said the 19th, I said it'd be the second Sabbath. And full moon at even at full at the even time, full that's your full moon is the brightest. Now a lot of times these days don't come out like this all the time every month because um, moon giant is good. They're close, but they're not accurate 100% because they can be off a date. But what because where they have new moon that it's really a dark moon for them. All right, new moon comes out the evening, and then the next day is a new moon but either way you can use that as a guideline but you got to know what you're doing
the call. All right, now this evening right here is full moon. All right, full moon starts the 15th day on this line. So all of this day is the 15th day right here. Your full moon, that's our feast day. A lot of our feast days start on the 14th day at even, which is the 15th day. All right, so after you have your 15th day, um, that is a Shabbat, full moon is your Shabbat, okay? So then after that, you start your work week back over again, over here in this corner. So you have two Shabbats so far, okay? You have two, this, your full moon is always going to be your second Shabbat after the spotting of the new moon. All right, our next line is just a continuation of our previous line. And look at the numbers and why are they are positioned in the, in the window, in the box, or whatever you want to call it. And then just add. Just keep adding to them. See, 15, upper right, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, over here, we got the 20th. Now, upper left is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And then at, at the bottom left, it, these are your work days a week. So they're going to change every week. When you get to seven, you got to start back over again. Okay. All right. Um, so this right here is we have it's just continuation. No problem at all. Just, just add one. On this line. It's just a continuation from the previous line. All right, you see, just continue on. Like I say, our workday, we just gonna go start back over from seven. Okay, so make sure we go, we keep going. All right, but but here, when you get to this point here on on the day of, in the progress calendar, make sure you check the calendar and make sure you have the right number of days in each month. It could be from twenty eight to thirty one days in each month. So therefore, we had to check these right here. It's not going to be the same all the time. All right. But if we look on Yahoo's calendar, we, go, we went up to day 29 on this line. You know we have 29 days, most likely every month, at least 29. But we are going to check and see if we have a 30, if we project to have a 30-day month this time. Okay. Now, as we look, we see we do have a 30-day month. Tenth month it is a 30-day month. It has 30 days in it. So therefore, whenever you have 30 days in the uh, your lunar months, instead of being the Sabbath day, Shabbat's being on the next day, like like we have here, uh, last month, let's say the ninth month, it was on Friday. We had a 29-day month. And so when we have a 29 day month, the new moon and the Shabbat's on the next day, Saturday. It was on Friday, now it's Saturday. But we have 30 day lunar month, it's going to skip one day. See, here it was on, it was on Saturday. So you're going to skip one day. You're going to have one work day. Then you have new moon day the next day. So it's going to skip that Sunday. And go to that Monday. Anytime you have a 30 day month, you can always skip one day. All right. So your months change. The 11th month is here. Your Shabbat's will be on that Monday. And just take from your previous month on your Gregorian calendar and just keep going. Just keep going, counting the seven, eights. And see, now your calendars run out. So we got all of our Sabbaths in, all of our Sabbaths in, and we also got a little head start for the next month here on our bottom line. That's why it's very important from the previous month to put your, um, start your count, start your line with the new moon comes out on the top line. That way you get all your Sabbaths in. I just want to clear up one more thing before we go, before I wrap this up, make sure everybody understands what's going on. In Leviticus, it's telling us um, how we was, when and how we were supposed to celebrate the uh, Day of Atonement. 
So let's go to Leviticus chapter 23, verse 32. And it shall be a Shabbat of rest. And ye shall afflict your souls. Afflict your souls. Most of what I do, I just fast, pray, and I don't do nothing for enjoyment. No more than study or read and study that day. All right. In the ninth day of the month at even. You know, the day of atonement is in the seventh month on the tenth day. But here is the ninth day of the month at even. So the ninth day has already passed. So it's that even. So that ninth day at even starts your tenth day. So it's from the ninth day of the month from even to even. So from the ninth day of the month at even to the tenth day of the month at even. That's it. From even to even. So ninth day of the month at even from even to even shall you celebrate your Shabbat. Now here in Numbers um, chapter 9 verse 5 it explains that and, the, and they kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month at even. That means that 14th day had already passed. Alright. 14th day is at the even. So that's when you're supposed to keep the Passover that even. Even the fourth day of even is the beginning of the 15th day. Uh, you remember how I showed you how the light was very bright on the 14th day at even? So that light is very bright. So that's the brightest that light going to be in that month. And after that, it started decreasing. So that 14th day at even is the 15th day. So, so whenever you see that come out that evening, it's, let's say it come out on a Tuesday evening, that night, that from that point on, is Wednesday. You don't have to wait till 12 o'clock at night for your day to start. You don't have to wait till 6 o'clock in the morning for your day to start. Your day starts at sunset. Okay. Uh, and it kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month of the evening in the wilderness of Sinai. According to all that Yahuwah commanded Moses, so did the children of Yahshua. So they kept the Passover on the 14th day. It started on the 14th day. And they had to kill it. They had to slaughter the Passover. And at even, and then they had to cook it. So they had to cook all night. And then, you remember, after you read on, it tells you that they um they had to go, they had to burn, um, burn the residue. What was left over, they had to burn it. And then they go into your tents in the morning and go to sleep. Because they had to stay up all night cooking the Passover. All right. So it's the day started even, even to even. Okay, I, I pray that um everybody got some out of this. And if there are any questions, anything, just hit me on the comment board. I'll be glad to answer and get back to you. So all our Sabbath will be on a Saturday. Thank you very much for tuning in. Praise y'all and shalom.